Hi, I'm Charlene Bauer, Lady Software Network, and I have been blessed with the opportunity to drive a Bronco for the last four days. And with that, I really wanted to tell you all about it. Well, maybe not all about it because we can't go out on the trail right now, but I can show you all the buttons, all the features, and all the fun. All right, so foot's on the brake. That means we get to start her up. <laughs> so it does all kinds of fun things. It's gonna tell me to put my seatbelt on. It's gonna tell me to do all kinds of things, but guess what? We're gonna just sit here and I'm gonna show you what happens. So down here in the bottom, we have what we call our goat modes. These goat modes will give you all the different features. Normal, eco, slippery, mud and ruts, sand, Baja, and our favorite, rock crawl. So we're gonna go into the Baja mode to start it off. You can start seeing what's happening. <laughs> it's putting us into four wheel drive, off road only. It gives us this beautiful screen and it also turns off the advanced track, which you can see there in the corner. So we're gonna go into off road mode, Baja mode. We're gonna Baja it up in four high. It also took us to four high. So one of the other options that we can do is say we go into rock crawl mode. So we turn it over into rock crawl mode. It's going to say put it in neutral to go to four low. So we're putting it in neutral. It will shift in progress, go over to four low. Oosh. Four low. It did our stay bar disconnect. So this mode does a stay bar disconnect and a rear locker. Your front locker is selectable, so it won't turn on during the mode, but you would be able to turn that on as you need it. Now a stay bar is very cool. What's happening is this is an independent front suspension vehicle. So it's A-arms, right? You have your gears and your lockers and everything straight in the middle, and then A-arms out on either side. The A-arms can go out on either side and they have the tire at the end. With the tire at the end, let's be real, they still have to have some kind of togetherness, if you want to call it that. So the stay bar connects those two tires. Let's talk about it in the form of limiting straps. So a limiting strap is one way to think about it. As that tire goes up and down, there's a limiting strap on it. Think about that as the stay bar. When we disconnect the stay bar, this disconnects that quote limiting strap. So now instead of just having, let's make up numbers, three inches of ability for that tire to go up and down. Now a made up number, we have six inches of that tire ability to go up and down. So that's disconnecting the stay bar. What it's saying here on our screen is it will reconnect with over 20 miles per hour, which is fine with me. So now we're going rock crawling. You can see here in the screen, we have the stay bar disconnected. We have our rear locker on. If we decide to engage our front locker, which I just did, we have our front locker on. It's also going to show you all of this right along the bottom. It's pretty incredible what it does. So we have all of these modes on. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn my goat mode over to mud and ruts just to show you what it does. So shifting is in progress. It's going to take us to four high and notice it kept our rear locker on because that's part of the mode, but it did turn off the front locker and it also did turn off the stay bar. Uh, one of the fun parts about the screen is it gives us different modes. So there's our front mode. Here's a 360. So you can see all the way off to this side, all the way off to that side. And even more fun for rock crawling and mud and ruts, you can see your tire. So this is our front tire and we can get it up right next to that rock exactly where we need it. <laughs> Pretty handy, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with that <laughs> on this trip. Uh, so there's so many cool buttons. The other one that I'll mention is what we call the trail turn assist. Now you're going to have to look up a video of this because you've got to see it from the outside. And what it's doing is when you go into full walk mode with your wheel, it will engage. And that engagement will rotate the vehicle 
around that tire. So this tire, if we're going to the right, this would lock out and the entire vehicle would go around. Yes, it's really cool. <laughs> so this is what we call the hero bar. That's all the buttons along the hero bar that you just learned about. You have all the goat modes. Uh, the other ones that we didn't talk about was the sand mode that keeps you up on top of the sand, gives those RPMs really high, and the slippery mode, which is your snow and ice. So it's putting us into four all-wheel drive, and it's ready for us to go in snow and ice and have a pleasant time, hopefully, right? <laughs> uh, the really cool part about this too is the only time that you actually have to come to a complete stop or three miles an hour or less is when you're going into four low and it tells you that as well it says all right you're going to go into four low make sure that you come to a slow stop um, if you're coming back into normal if you're in four high it will take you straight there and it'll let you do it so everything is disconnecting i'm back in normal mode i got my maps back and i'm peeling out to the restaurant and ready for dinner so that's just a really fast overview of the awesome Bronco. Uh, this, yeah, so many buttons. Pro tip, super cool, pre-wired auxiliaries. So these are already ready, powered up, and ready for you to add accessories. Can't wait to see all the accessories that are available for the Bronco.